here at the Arinda Tufa again. Arinda means a spiritual essence within a person that allows them to affect the word or affect change in the world. Certainly our most mystical and magical spring that we have, whether that's in a new or full moon, can sound a bit hollow, much less compact than stalactites and stalagmites, which are made out of similar materials. Arinda is loaded with potassium iodine for the thyroid pituitary and pineal gland, hence its relationship to the third eye. You will see a lot, a lot of women standing here barefoot, their hands on the Arinda tufa, commiserating with their wisdom. <clears throat> I would love to find the right uh, source or university that could do it, get permission of the park, and the spring to take a bore or core all the way back to the bank. That way, similar to what they take out of ice or wood, we could see each year what the buildup of minerals was, what the flora and fauna you see getting trapped in here were that particular year, when the elms died out, what type of insects there were, and have a complete history back to almost 1900 of how this magical formation prostates itself into being the amazing experience it is for those who visit it. Just 75 or 100 feet upstream of the Arinda Tufa. If you look down in the pathway, you can find this really fine, fine white sand. Pick up a half a teaspoon, shake all of the water out of it. You'll notice how dry, like an exfoliant it is. Brush it all over your hands. When it is completely, completely dry, can take three to 10 minutes depending upon the day, your hands will be softer than you've ever experienced in being. After it's completely dry, I usually look at my tour group and say, how soft are your hands? I hear amazing, remarkable, this is incredible. 10 minutes later, I turn around and say, now how soft are your hands? Women pay $300 for products that are supposed to do this in a month. Nobody's ever disagreed with me.